now consider uh, uh, the equation so y is equal to um, hx plus n right so here h is equal to 1 because of uh, awgn channel and the another assumption is uh, uh, n is modeled as a, a gaussian with a mean uh, a 0 and variance of sigma square so finally we will get y is equal to x plus n so x is uh, your transmitted uh, um, signal or transmitted uh, bit you can say so y is uh, your received signal so n is uh, noise right now uh, uh, for simplicity let us consider uh, uh, the bpsk system so we have uh, minus one we have plus one all right so in bpsk system we will consider that uh, uh, whenever we transmit uh, plus one we transmit uh, with the certain power p okay uh, so power is equal to p so which means uh, that if we are uh, uh, representing uh, in the constellation then it is the amplitude so it will be square root of p this will be minus square root of p okay so now uh, we need to consider uh, um, the probability of error right probability of error we need uh, the pdf pdf of uh, y but uh, what does uh, pdf of uh, y look like so let's say uh, uh, when um, x we transmitted as uh, square root of p uh, which is uh, this particular constellation point then y would become square root of p plus n right so now n is a gaussian so your y is also gaussian so how would you like even the noise how will you write uh, uh, the pdf of noise let's say i will write it like this so then it will become 1 by square root of 2 pi uh, sigma square e to the power of minus n square by 2 sigma square okay now so this is where we transmitted plus p and uh, and the received signal will have uh, uh, you know pdf something like this right so i have not written it correctly okay let me try to write it correctly so So similarly, uh, if we have minus p, we will have one more uh, uh, picture, one more uh, Gaussian PDF present at this point. So probability of error, when does it occur? Let's say you transmitted minus p, okay? You transmitted this particular point, but now at the reception Rx, you received uh, um, you received the sample somewhere uh, at this point or this point or anything which is actually uh, present uh, in the present in this region correct so what do we say for that so whenever you were uh, received uh, y is greater than zero that is when you get uh, uh, error so what is y so y is equal to x plus n in this case y is equal to uh, minus p plus n because that is what you have transmitted okay so this uh, becomes a minus p plus n if it uh, falls uh, uh, in the um, uh, in the uh, positive quadrant then uh, uh, you are going to have the error so which means uh, n is uh, greater than square root of p so now we can uh, error becomes what so it is a Gaussian, right? So now it is minus p to uh, infinity, one by square root of two pi sigma square e to the power of minus x square. So let us uh, use a change of variable. So put 
taken by sigma sigma dt so whenever uh, n is equal to infinity t also goes to infinity and whenever um, n becomes square root of p uh, t would become square root of p y sigma so we need to substitute back these things so probability of uh, uh, error is equal to so now t is the variable here we, it was n now we are moving to t t is the variable which is square root of p by sigma so goes to infinity um, so if you substitute uh, this if you carefully observe uh, this this represents uh, uh, the equation of a q function okay so the q function is if you take uh, the gaussian uh, distribution um, so this represents the tile of a Gaussian. So this, this this can be written as this can be written in terms of a Q function, which is a Q of um, square root of p by sigma square. Okay, this is actually sigma square here. Yes. So we had y is equal to uh, x plus n. So what is the SNR? SNR is signal power divided by noise power, right? What is the signal power here? Which is uh, uh, modulus of uh, x square divided by modulus of n square, uh, which, which is actually uh, p by sigma square. So we can write this as q of uh, SNR. Also, we can write it in uh, one, more, one more way. Uh, uh, so, we had this constellation, right? So, constellation minus square root of p and we had square root of p. So, what is the distance between these two? So, this is equal to 2 into square root of p. So, probability of error is equal to... We can write it as 2 by d by 2 sigma. So this d is nothing but the distance between two symbols. All right. So what does it say? Okay. So now we have derived uh, the BR of a AWGN channel and the relation we have in terms of V1 distance between the symbol. Uh, also, we have a relation between SNR and the probability.